Hey there everybody, welcome to Super Mario Brothers where we're going to be seeing each level in more each world per video, so this time it's in high definition. I did a full playthrough of this game which was in like the old with my old camera. Right now I'm trying to adjust the screen. I'm having the worst luck in these Mario games this weekend. I've been playing all weekend. I had a three-day weekend because I took a vacation day on Friday, and I've just been have, struggling so much with these games for some reason. I've been playing them for years, and I just now started doing a recording. I did World 1, World 2. I forgot to replace the battery, and here my battery died. So, I gotta start over. I think most people who grew up in the 80s, 90s played this game which was released in 1990, but for the kids of today who have never had the luxury of playing the old 8-bit games, I'll be explaining it. Super Mario Bros. 3, the number one individual grossing game in video game history. Super Mario Bros., the original, is was marked for a long time as the biggest selling game and Wii Sports is now marked as the biggest selling game but those games were came free with the system this game individually bought sold the most and it's been in the lead for was it 23 years now Get a good run, those barrels fill up and you can fly. You collect these coins, you get a hundred coins and you get an extra life. See when you get a run. Oh, I didn't get a good enough run. Whoa. We're not used to going this way. Try this again. See, and you keep tapping the jump button, and eventually, and you can fly until you eventually it runs out. You can also keep tapping the jump button when you're falling to float. By the way, A is the jump button. B makes you swing your tail. If you got firepower, it makes you shoot fire. Get a good run and jump. Now, if you get a good run before jumping on that thing, you usually get a star. World 4 does not give you much room to run, so I'll be showing you what we're going to do when we get there. Go to World 2 here. Or level, level 2. your day when you're making a recording. Also it says battery dead. I was just close to the end of world two when that happened, so now I have to start all over. I see a lot of Goombas and Koopas in this world one. Should be familiar from Super Mario Brothers, the original. Now they did have piranha plants in the first game, but they didn't shoot fire like they do in this game. The thing that's annoying about this game is if you hit boxes on the left side, the items go to the right. If you hit them on the right side, they go to the left. So see I'm standing more on the left of it, it will go to the right. another one. I'll hit it from the right side. This is the only Mario game that does that too. That I know of. I've only played Mario games up to the N64, so there might be some on like the Nintendo DS and systems that I haven't played. Now in level 3 here we're not going to get a card because I'm going to show you a, 
For those of you who don't know, I'm going to show where you get a work whistle. You jump on top of these blocks, press the jump button when you're on there, and you can get a good bounce. You can pick these guys up, by the way, too. Oh. Okay, I got lucky there. I don't know how I avoided that. They owed me that one because they've been cheating a lot. Go up here. Press jump on that orange black up here. After this third set of coins, there's an extra life up in the sky. So you want to fly. Oh! failed there. Okay, so, first you want to get rid of that flying Goomba. Duck down here for a few seconds. You go behind the board, avoid the enemies, just keep going, you stay back there, and you get to the end of your... Come here and you get a warp whistle. Now, if you use this warp whistle in World 1, you get to choose between world 2, 3, or 4, which one you want to go to. It's in your item box. Press B to open your item box. Press A to use the item. Press B to close it again. And here's another item you can get in your item boxes. See, there's a leaf. Which gives you the raccoon suit. Now you can use those items anytime on the map screen. I'm not going to go to stage 4 right now because as I was talking about, it's hard to get a start at the end of that level, so I'm going to come back to that after I do level 5. Show this thing first. Line up the pictures and get a prize. You only get one try. I always fail at this. I get like one out of every 20 tries. Okay, first time luck. Only two extra lives though, it's not five. If I would have matched up the stars, I would have had five lives. It doesn't matter though, by the time I get to the end of this game, I'm probably going to have like 70 or 80. 70 or 80 lives. There's a fire flower in there, but I don't want that. For, for, for the most part of the game, I'm going to be using this raccoon tail. There's a few stages where I'll be using the fire flowers. There's other suits like the frog suit. I did that the last time I played too. Wait till wait till he gets back over here this way. Instead of going in that door right there, I'm gonna run, fly up here, run all the way to the end, press up. Another, another warp whistle. There's a total of three warp whistles in this game, as far as I know of. I got two of them right there. The third one is in World 2. I think that's all there are in the game. There could be more, but I'm not positive. Level 5. There's another one of these. like about this compared to the first Super Mario Brothers game is there's just so much variety in it. The first game the boards all look so similar. It seemed like it was almost like deja vu with a few minor changes and this game's just got a wide variety of levels and different suits you get. Okay you want to get a good run here. Okay I'm gonna go back because I knew that was gonna run out. There we go. It's 
see level 4 doesn't give you much room between the pipe and the card. So you really can't get a good run to get it. We'll go ahead and see that here. Auto scrolling stages. Everybody hates them. But it's part of video games back in the old days. Well, that was close. Yeah, it's nice how you just keep tapping the A button to ho kind of hover down. Now, I never get this block completely. That always happens. If you hold on to the shell too long, the coop will pop back out of the shell. So look at the space. They don't give you much and you end up getting like a mushroom. I mean, you can stand under it and kind of just guess and you might get, there's like a 1 in 3 chance hit at the star, but... Okay, this level here looks just like level 4, except for it's not auto-scrolling. You can kind of take your time. That one on the left and one to the right. This is definitely my favorite Mario game. I mean, everything about it. Music, the options, like the suits you can choose. As I mentioned, we'll be seeing a lot of the leaf, which gives me the raccoon tail. We'll be seeing quite a bit of the fire flower. There are other suits like the frog suit, the hammer suit, and the full raccoon suit, which we won't be seeing too much of until later in the game. This guy right here, beat him. Check these blocks, because sometimes this one has a fire flower in it. I'll go ahead and use the, the fire flower, just so you can see it. Sometimes the fourth from the end one has a leaf in it. And you always get a star from that guy. Here's something cool about the mushroom houses that some people might not know of. If you got firepower and you shoot it inside here, your fireballs are green. Choose a box. And in there I got another item to go into my menu. Now you check my menu here. I got five items. It holds up to seven items. After I get seven items, I get another box. You get up to four boxes you can flip through by pressing up and down arrows. And so you can hold the maximum of 28 items. When you get tw 28 items, I'll explain it a little as we go. The end of each world has one of these stages where Toad kind of just freaks out jumping around because the king's been transformed. And you gotta go up on one of these sky ships to get the magic wand back. Each one gets a little bit harder. This one's pretty easy. Each one's got a boss at the end of it. Another fire flower, but I already got fire. You can jump on these. Sometimes if you don't land directly on the top of them, they'll cheat and count as a hit against you. 
sometimes land on what looks like the tab. Look, if you shoot fireballs in this board, they're like kind of a grayish white. Oh! Holy fail. Lucky I didn't get hit a second time there. You know, they give you like a few seconds, like when you get hit with firepower, they give you a few seconds of invincibility before you can get hit again. But when you're a big Mario and you turn into a shrunken Mario, they really don't give you much time as they do going from Fire Flower Mario to Big Mario. So after you save the king, or turn him back to whatever he's supposed to be, get a letter from the princess. Greetings. If you see any ghost, be careful. They will give chase if you turn away. They have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Totsu. That's the P-Wing right there. I'd like to save them for World 7 and World 8 because they come in handy. And I'll be showing what pretty much every item does. So, Anyways, that was World 1. Next video will be World 2.